As the number of COVID cases grows in Minnesota, the Office of Governor Tim Walz and Peggy Flanagan are continuing their efforts to monitor and prevent the spread of the disease. The lieutenant governor lost her own brother to the virus. Because of her job, she has to maintain social distance from her coworkers. Esme Murphy has more in tonight's Talking Points. On a Monday back in March, the COVID crisis came home to Minnesota. That was the day Governor Walls announced he would self-quarantine because one of his security detail had COVID. Senator Amy Klobuchar announced her husband, John Bessler, had COVID. And Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan announced her brother, Ron, had passed away in Tennessee from the virus. The trooper on the governor's security detail has recovered, and so has Senator Klobuchar's husband. And like the families of so many COVID victims, Lieutenant Governor Flanagan says COVID has made the grieving process harder. She was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. We'll be able to mourn my brother uh, this summer, but until then, um, hopefully this summer, but until then, uh, you know, we are, we're just doing the work. He would have, he would have told me, girl, get back to it. Lieutenant Governor Flanagan disagrees with the statement some are making about COVID, that COVID-19 is, quote, the great equalizer. It has really laid bare the disparities and inequities that exist in our state and all across the country. And so the families who are already in crisis uh, are feeling uh, this even more so. The lieutenant governor is normally with Governor Walls at almost all public events, but not during this COVID crisis. It's a sign of just how serious this pandemic is. The two leaders are being kept apart. So in case one does succumb to COVID-19, the other will be able to lead the state. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. And remember, you can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinak every Sunday at 6 and 1030 a.m.